Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys really enjoyed the opening and I hope you caught the vibes I was trying to send. And of course, I hope that you accept them. I hope that your day has been blessed and amazing and positive. Um, I'm so glad to be back. I feel like I've been gone forever. Honestly, I've just been working on quality for you guys and trying to better myself and trying to just overall make it a better experience for you guys. So today I think we're gonna do like a New Year's style glam, of course, my version of that. If you have not already, go ahead. A girl cannot live. So if you like what you see, and if you wanna know how to get a New Year's style glam, then hit that subscribe, hit that like, and hit that notification. Also, if you're new to the fam, hit me up in the comments, say hello, say what's up. I definitely want to hear from you guys. So, if you want to know how to get my, my style of a New Year's glam look, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so we're going to jump right into this tutorial. Of course, we're going to do eyes first. Um, what do you guys have planned for New Year's? Because I have none. I think I'm literally going to do my face and sit in my house with my best friend and literally do nothing. So let me know in the comments what are you guys doing for New Year's. If you got plans, if you plan to get lit, if you plan to have your face beat and go out with your man, hit me up in the comments because I want to know the tea. So basically today we're going to play with a few things that have dropped over the past few months. Um, I want to play with this Fenty. I want to play with this Fenty Beauty. I have played with it for a few weeks, so I definitely have some opinions for you guys on that. And then, of course, I have some Fenty Beauty foundation, so I'm excited for you guys to see how that performs and how that looks on my skin. I will say, for the winter, my skin has been so dry. It has been horrible. It has been horrible. Like that's all I can say. That's how dry it's been. Um, first thing off, I will say this Fenty Beauty is super, super, super matte. If you have dry skin, girl, you better moisturize for your life because this is going to have you matte. Now, if you have oily skin, go ahead and go cop that Fenty Beauty because, baby girl, you are going to love it. So I think what I'm going to do for you guys today to make sure that we can just speed through the process, I'm going to do one eye off camera and then I'm going to come back, kind of bring you guys a little closer and do the other, other eye on camera with you guys so that you guys can kind of see the process and how we got there. I just don't want this video to be too long for you guys. You guys know the deal. So let me do one eye and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I decided to do this look, which I am obviously dying over. Excuse my little baby hairs. Um, I did basically a dark kind of emerald halo eye, and then I used some of the Fenty glitter to make a winged liner. I'm going to zoom you guys in for sure once I figure it out, honestly. I'm going to zoom you guys in so that you guys can really take in um, what it looks like and really taking some technique all right let's jump into it so i already did my brows and yes my brows are a little bit lighter because my hair is now a bit lighter so super dark brows would just not be the move basically i use very minimal items for this so the look looks dramatic but it really didn't take me long i'm going to be working out of the jacqueline hill palette and i'm also going to be working out of the fenty palette as well so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Lately I've been using a darker concealer for brows and a darker concealer for lids because it allows the colors to show up a lot better. As well as I no longer set my eyelid. So this eyelid is literally just wet concealer. So I'm taking a super dark emerald green and I'm going straight onto the lid. do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a fluffier brush 
which is going to be the M330. We're gonna go ahead and we're literally gonna tuck that point into that crease and we're gonna blend like crazy. Now what I did use in the Jaclyn Hill palette is the teal color. Let's see if I can get you guys in the frame. So I just use this color here and now I'm moving down to this color here. Sorry, I just want you guys to know what I'm using and that's a little crazy. Now I'm going to use the lighter color and I'm going to tap off the excess and I'm literally just lightly laying that over and buffing out with that. What that is going to do is bring out the green in that super dark emerald. I'm actually going to get a clean brush. Um, something a little more fluffy. This is the E22, so it looks like him. And what I really want to do is go ahead and blend out as much as possible. I want a little bit more of a gradient so I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to grab a concealer, another dark concealer. This is LA Girl in Warm Sand. Looks like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab a brush for that. And I'm gonna take this M508, looks like this guy. I'll also use this guy to clean up my eyebrows. I'm going to use this to kind of go ahead and get that halo eye started and kind of up into a T space. So it kind of looks like a comb. We're not going to set that. We're going to go right into the back into that Jaclyn palette. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dark emerald shimmer. It looks like that. Try to get it in screen. Looks like that. And that's going to be my first base. And what you want to do is you want to go back in with that fluffy brush and go ahead and blend it out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the light teal shimmer. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to tap it on. We're going to go in and we're going to use the teal shimmer in this, which is right down here. This teal shimmer. Now, what I'll say with these is, listen, if you do not play with glitters very often, this is a very almost uh, chalky glitter. It is very hard to work with. It is very hard to find a brush it will work with. Um, honestly, the only way I think you can apply it successfully is really, really with a finger or the way I'm gonna show you we do this winged outliner. Look how pretty that teal. Sorry, I'm flicking you guys off. That teal looks so pretty. So we're literally going to take that and we're going to go right on top. All the way to the top. Ooh. I just gently blend out because the glitter gets everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab one of these Q-tips. Just a little basic Q-tips. And some of this micellar cleansing water. I'm going to clean her up. I always do this step. This is like my life. So this step is super necessary. And we're gonna work on the the winged liner that we did for this look. So I have this first brush. This is literally like an H&M brush. I would not use an, express, an expensive brush for this. Super cheap H&M, I think I paid like two bucks for it. And I'm gonna use some Kiss Easy Lashes glue. So I continuously use this to make a shape for myself. So now we're gonna go ahead and take an M165. This is literally another angled brush. And I'm going back into that teal from the Fenty palette. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press that in. And as I get to the end, I'm gonna turn it on its side and lightly press the end. Grab a little bit more and go ahead and go in. 
So my camera stopped recording at some point. So I don't know if you guys know, this is the Fenty foundation in the shade 320. And you guys saw my face without foundation. Um, apparently I went to Sephora and they matched me and said I had peach undertones and yellow undertones and nude neutral undertones, which I was pretty surprised at. Like I said, trying to fly through this part for you guys. Gonna go ahead and use this ColourPop Concealer in the shade medium. And then on the sides, I do use just to chisel out my face because I'm a chunky girl. Been using Maybelline, and this is in the color light. And this is their Shine Free Loose Powder. And we're gonna go ahead. I literally am dipping my beauty blender, blowing off some of that excess. I don't want all that. And now we're gonna go ahead and move into some contour and this is my always use Milani contour I'm going in with a Morphe E5 looks like him and we're just gonna go ahead all right guys so now that we have all the powder on I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face and I go in so just be prepared Go ahead and use this matchstick from Fenty Beauty as well. This is in the shade Blonde. And lately I've been, I mean, let's see, can you guys see that? To me, it's like almost like the liquid version of Fenty Wife, so. Or Trophy Wife, not Fenty Wife, Trophy Wife. I'm crazy. All right, so I'm just gonna dab some across my face. Now here's where the different part comes in. I'm going to take a fluffy brush that I usually use for highlighter. This is the 501. I do want to spruce up my highlight just a little bit more. So I'm gonna take some of this Master Chrome and go right on top. All right guys, so this is the final look. What do we think? I feel like this look is perfect for a New Year's look. I have on this emerald green sweater and I feel like it goes perfect. All the shine, all the glitter, all the glam. I love it so much and I really hope you guys do too. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. I want to see you back. I will be back next year. I really hope you guys had the best Christmas and I really hope you guys are preparing yourself mentally and physically and emotionally for a super amazing 2018. So I'm wishing you and your loved ones the happiest of New Year's and hopefully the most amazing beginning to something great. Bye guys. See you next time. Laying in the house waiting for you, baby. I'm waiting for you, baby. I got a few things I want to show you, baby. Got a few things I want to show you, baby. When you put your hands on my body, I get so excited. There ain't nobody else but you and me. There's more to see you waiting on your love.